What's going on guys, Wi-Fi Profit here bringing you another e-commerce video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Google Shopping Ads, specifically which bidding strategy you should be utilizing when you're first starting out your campaigns. Should you start out with maximized clicks or should you start out with manual CPC? All right, but before we get into the video, I encourage you to click the like button below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and turn on post notifications to stay updated on more e-commerce content I post in the future. All right, so without any further ado, let's play the intro. Alright guys, welcome back. We're on my computer. In this video, we're going to go over the difference between maximized clicks and manual CPC so you know which one is right for you when you first launch your campaign. Alright guys, so let's start off with maximized clicks. Alright, so maximized clicks is an automated bidding strategy. All right, so what does this mean? This means that you actually have no control over the bids whatsoever. Google is going to go out there and they're going to bid for you automatically. All right, so you have no control over the bid. Google is going to bid for each product individually, whatever they feel is necessary. So you have no control. You can't make any bid adjustments, anything like that. All right, so the objective of maximize clicks is to get you as many clicks as possible within your budget. So they're, they're going to go out there and try to get you as many clicks as they can possibly can within your tight budget, right? So this means that you're going to get cheaper clicks and you're also going to get more clicks. Because if the clicks are cheaper, that means you're going to get more because they're giving you as many as possible within your budget. All right. But I have written here that cheaper clicks don't always equate to more sales or conversions. All right. So the thing about it is when you're bidding lower, your ads are showing up for lower competitive queries. Right. So in my experience, when utilizing Max CBC bidding, Google will show your ads for less competitive queries. This is because the lower you bid, the lower the quality of traffic is, all right? So what do I mean by less competitive queries? Well, let me give you an example, all right? So since they're gonna be bidding on the lower side to give you as many clicks as possible for a cheaper price, right? The queries that they're gonna show your ads for are similar to this right here, all right? So best robotic vacuum, all right? So this is a low propensity click and has a low propensity of conversion. The reason why is because if someone's searching up best robotic vacuum, they're still in the research phase. So they're just looking around to see what's the best robotic vacuum. They haven't made a commitment yet to purchase it, right? So since they're still in the research phase, they're higher up in the funnel, all right? But in this example right here, if you were to bid higher, which you could do with um, uh, manual, manual CBC, um, the query that you could show up for could be um, buy robotic vacuum 20 centimeters by 40 centimeters. All right. So this has a higher propensity of conversion and is a high propensity click because the buyer already knows what they want. The query is buy. So they're looking to buy. And then they have the specifications on the exact uh, type that they want. So they want 20 centimeters by 40 centimeters. So they're going to be lower in the funnel. Right. So when you bid lower, whether you're utilizing maximized clicks or manual CPC, you're going to show up for less competitive queries. But when you bid higher, you're going to bid, um, you're going to show up for higher, higher competitive queries, such as by robotic vacuum, 20 centimeters by 40 centimeters. Right. So the thing is with manual CPC, you can actually control this because you can make bid adjustments with maximized clicks. They're trying to get you as many clicks as possible for the cheapest price so they can get you the most within your budget. And this is not always good because you don't want to show up for a lot of um, you know, less competitive queries such as this. All right. So let's come down. All right. So let's talk about manual CPC. All right. So manual CPC is an basically a manual bidding strategy, right? So this means that you have full control over everything, right? So you have full control over the bid that you set for the products individually on the product level. All right. So if you have a test all campaign or a test bucket campaign full of a bunch of products, you're going to want to bid differently for those products. You're going to want to be able to make um, increases or decreases depending on what the sweet spot is because there's a bid sweet spot. When you bid too low, right, you're going to show up for less competitive queries. You may get less clicks if you're utilizing manual CPC. 
right? So when you're utilizing manual CPC, you can bid too low and still show up for less competitive queries. It's just that with maximized clicks, their objective is to get you as many clicks as possible. So for the most part, most of the clicks you're going to be getting are cheap clicks, also known as less propensity clicks because they can show up for less competitive queries. But with manual CPC, you can still bid too low. Don't get it twisted. You can still bid too low and show up for those less competitive queries. And with manual CPC, when you're doing it, um, for the most part, you can actually not get that many clicks because Google's really not going to tr be, be able to find that click for that price, right? So with manual CPC, you want to make sure that you're bidding on the higher side in the beginning, especially when you launch your campaigns so that you can get um, momentum going in your ads, right? So manual CPC, like I said, is going to give you control over the bids. You can make bid adjustments, whether you're going to be increasing or decreasing. So when you're bidding um, with manual CPC, for the most part, you're going to get less clicks, but they're going to be um, higher propensity clicks and you're going to get more conversions. This is only done if you're bidding correctly. So like I said, um, there's a sweet spot. Let me write this down here. There's a sweet spot. All right. So sweet spot bid. This means a profitable balance all right so this is a profitable balance in which you aren't bidding too high or too low all right because the higher you bid less clicks more conversions Right. So the higher you bid, less clicks, more conversions. The lower you bid. You're going to get less conversions. All right. So bidding too high is good because you're getting more conversions, less clicks. Right. Um, because obviously you're going to be bidding higher. So that's going to eat up most of your budget. The thing is, you're going to be less profitable. Because the more you spend, the more you cut into your margin. All right. So the more you spend, the more you cut into your margin. The lower you spend, the less um, conversions. And if you're utilizing the manual CPC, so when using manual CPC, you will get um, less clicks. All right, so with manual CPC, you'll get less clicks if you bid low. With uh, manual CPC, when you bid high, you're going to get less clicks, be but you're going to be more profitable because those clicks that you're getting are going to be high quality traffic, right? So you want to find the sweet spot, like I said. So you want to bid in the middle. So bid in the middle, right? So say on the high side, the bid was 70 cents. Low side was 45 cents, right? So if the high side was 70 cents and the low side was 45 cents, then sweet spot could be uh, could be 58 cents, right? And the thing about the sweet spot is that it's dynamic, right? So it's going to be changing. That's why you need to utilize manual CPC so you can stay in the sweet spot. The sweet spot is when you're not bidding too high or too low. So you're going to be getting sales in the sweet spot. And you're going to be making a lot of money if you stay within the sweet spot. The thing about uh, max maximize clicks is you can't stay in the sweet spot because they're going to be doing all the bidding for you. Manual CPC is the only way you can stay in the sweet spot when you're not bidding too high or too low. Because like I said, when you're bidding too high, you're going to get conversions because the higher quality traffic, but you're going to be cutting to your margins because you're spending more money with um, manual CBC on the lower side of bidding, you're, you're going to show up for less competitive queries and you might not get that many clicks because of the bidding strategy you're utilizing while bidding too low. So you want to stay in the sweet spot and the sweet spot is dynamic. So it's going to be constantly changing, right? Because there's other advertisers on the market 
that are running ads and they're changing their bids. So you need to stay within that sweet spot. So I recommend once a week you come into your account and you make those bid adjustments. All right. So let's cover the last couple of points. All right. So like I said, it works very well when you're bidding slightly higher than the average CPC because the higher traffic, um, the higher bid is the higher quality of traffic. And then lastly, with manual CPC, it's really great for general stores, while maximized clicks is not. The reason why it's great for general stores is, like I said, if you have a bunch of products in the test all campaign, you can make adjustments and control your bid for those products individually on the product level. While with maximized uh, clicks, you cannot do that because Google is going to be doing all that for you. So at the end of the day, which one of these do I recommend you start out with when you're running your first campaign? I always recommend you start out with manual CPC. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a fat like, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already done so, and turn on that post notification bell so you stay updated on more e-commerce content I post in the future. All right, guys, it's Wi-Fi Profit, and you guys have a wonderful day.